These are Formica chips or Formica samples. I'm not sure what you call them. But um, these are the countertop samples that you can pick up often for free at uh, most home, um, home improvement centers. I'm going to demonstrate how you can decorate them to make very compelling embellishments for scrapbooks or for other paper projects. Start by um, putting down a newspaper to protect your work surface. Now I'm going to use this ordinary craft paint, green for this one, and just um, paint your surface. You might have to apply more than one coat depending on the color underneath. In fact, I'm going to um, I'm going to do that with this one. So I'm going to let this dry and give it a few more coats and then I'm going to paint this one, do the same painting, this one pink. So here they are painted and dried so the next thing I'm going to do will be to try some rubber stamping. I've now stamped this green um, green tag with this stamp by Dynami Designs and I've heat embossed it using Versamark and um, Pirate Gold embossing powder and um, there you can see the embossed image and I have tied a ribbon, gold and white ribbon around the top. So here's a Formica chip that I've painted yellow. I'm going to stamp it now with this stamp which is uh, Egyptian Deity by Uptown Rubber Stamps. I'm using Tim Holtz's Black Soot Distress Ink. I'm going to cover that. Now I'm going to stamp. There we go. So here's my stamped Formica chip. I've played around with the stamp a little as you can see and added a partial image over there. Now what I'm going to do is emboss this with a couple of layers of ultra thick embossing enamel. So to do that I cover the Formica chip with a watermark ink project such as Versamark. So I'm going to go over this. I want the whole thing covered with this sticky. That's, that's basically what it is. It's sticky. Now I take my Clear UT, as it's called. And I'm going to set that aside. Let's just get it out of the road there. I'm going to set that aside. And I'm now going to heat this with my heating gun. And I will heat it until it's melted. melted so it's now a smooth surface and if I choose I can give it a second layer. So here are four Formica chips that I've decorated. On the extreme left this is the uh, one that's been stamped and heat embossed with gold. I have attached a ribbon, a gold, white and gold ribbon to the top. Uh, this one has been painted pink, stamped with black ink and uh, embossed with a couple layers of UT and of course I've attached some pink fiber. This one over here is paper. I've put two layers of paper. This is a sticker and um, 
treasure is a stamp and more fiber. And of course to the extreme right we have the um, bird that I demonstrated a few moments ago and um, it has a couple layers of UT and more fiber. There you have a few examples of some of the things you can do with formica chips.